same resources to prosecute an individual that did, then that uh, tends to give you a lot of credibility. So when those individuals, and this is what the system is based on, those individuals come down and they sit in the jury pool and they're waiting to be picked to serve on a jury. Uh, it's more likely for those folks to believe in the state, to believe in the prosecution because they see what we're doing. We're bringing credibility back to the system. And it works. Now, you know, you know officers have taken issue <coughs> with the things that we have done in Dallas County. Another thing that, you know, we put in place is the fact that we don't rubber stamp cases that police officers bring to us. And that's for a particular reason, because all of those folks that went to jail for crime they didn't commit, well, those were rubber stamped. And so we make officers do their work. Uh, and the end result is, is that it's uh, less likely that we will make a, a mistake. And officers, some officers don't like that. Uh, but we have been successful enough to get police departments, the largest police department that feeds cases within Dallas County, to get on board with what we're doing because they see it. It makes sense. It gives them credibility. It makes their jobs easy. It's, it says to them that when they go in those communities, they can go and have trust uh, with those citizens that they have been hired or even appointed to represent. Uh, change is very difficult. And I understand that as a district attorney. Uh, but what I've seen and what we've been able to do with the challenging thought process that's gone on forever uh, is that police departments are buying into it. And we had an exoneration, actually two exonerations. The first two exonerations in Dallas County that didn't deal with science, didn't deal with DNA. It was just good old investigative techniques. So uh, when we started to reinvestigate this case, uh, after it had, having 21 exonerations, we invited the Dallas Police Department to join us with this investigation. And fortunately for us, uh, the investigator that investigated the case some 15 years ago was still on the force. Mm -hmm. And he came to the table. And we reinvestigated this case together. And at the end of the day, the two individuals that did not commit the crime were exonerated. And as a result of that joint effort, we were able to arrest the two individuals some 15 years later mm. for that. And it was, this was a capital murder, mm. that capital murder. And we will be in a position to successfully prosecute those two individuals because on a murder case, there's no statute of limitations. Now, a lot of folks, when I speak, they get the sense that I want to criticize police officers. That's not true. In fact, I have the utmost respect for those police officers who go on the street and work hard every day. And in this particular case, the investigator that made that mistake, and these two individuals that spent 15 years of their lives in prison, uh, when the investigator
been said that change and progress comes from those places you don't expect them to come from. Huh. And so Texas, uh, you can put Texas in that category. We have instituted policies and procedures uh, in Dallas County. We were fortunate enough to go down to the legislature in the last session and advocate uh, for progressions and changes in the law uh, that will allow us to do our jobs a little bit better. And you all uh, should all be proud of yourselves in this room because it's groups like this that provide us the opportunity to continue to make things work a little bit better. You know, we have a long way to go uh, to improve law enforcement. There are several areas that we need to look at, but I think the main area and the first area that we need to look at is investigative techniques to embrace science mm. and not shy away from it. Mm. Uh, because with science, uh, especially DNA, uh, you can't question that. Uh, DNA works in the favor of law enforcement. In most cases that we tested uh, for exoneration, it's coming back to prove that the person did commit the crime. That's good for law enforcement. But in those few cases that it proves that someone didn't commit the crime, it's an opportunity for law enforcement to look at those files and the techniques that were used to make sure that we don't make those same mistakes in the future. Now, one you know, red flag that we've seen in every exoneration that we've had in Dallas County deal with, deal with, deals with identification of potential defendants. And we specifically uh, persuaded Dallas to change the way they present you know, potential defendants to victims. Uh, and we've gone, gone to what's called the double blind system uh, in Dallas. And then some of the smaller police departments are even getting on board with that. So we are evolving to the point to where law enforcement will work for all individuals. And so, uh, again, we have a long way to go, but we're going to get there, and Texas, of all places, will lead the way. Thank you for having me. Insightful and inspiring message.